Hey guys, welcome to Vantage England and Wales. Today we're going to talk to you about the new Trimble GFX 350 display. Not only are we going to talk about it, but we're going to take it out of the box and show you exactly what's involved. We have got a GFX 350 quick start guide. This tells you what all the icons are in the box and tells you what it can get you going on the display. We have the display itself. We have a full ram mount setup. This is to get the ram mount and mount it onto a rail in the cab. We also have the power for the display. So this comes in two halves. Half one. Secondly, half two. So let's get these out of their protective bags and then we'll have a look and see what we've got in more detail. This is the Trimble GFX 350 display. It's the smaller brother to the GFX 750, which everybody would be used to. It's a 17.8 centimeter display, which is seven inches. It's a touchscreen at the front, and then it's a molded plastic uh, backing, which keeps it secure and keeps it solid when it's in your machine. The display weighs one kilo, one kilogram. So it's very lightweight, very small. And the beauty of this display is it's an IP66 rating. That means it's rated against dust and water ingression. So you can use this little beauty inside or outside your cab. So it's ideal for smaller tractors, etc., things like that. On the back of the display, really simple power button to start the display up and power it down. And then we have one USB port on this display. So you can use that to transfer AB lines, fields, etc. Um, the display GFX 350 and the 750, both of them come with Wi-Fi. So inside here, we have a Wi-Fi and that will allow you to connect it either to a mobile hotspot, like your mobile telephone, or you can connect it to a modem permanently in your cab. It's also Bluetooth enabled and it will, it will connect to your internal uh, radio. If you've got a Bluetooth radio in your machine, it will connect to that and it can, if you connect to the internet, play music through your Bluetooth speakers. And it supports a single external camera input. So with the color screen, you can connect it to an external camera. Often we see people putting these in the, um, the tank of your drill, or we can see them on the back of trailers, etc. things like that. So it's a really handy display for that. Um, the new Trimble GFX displays, they operate on Android. So the GFX 350, the 750, and the TMX 2050 operate on Android system. And the app which powers the navigation is called Precision IQ. What can we do with this display? So just a quick host of features. It will do ISO bus. It will do universal terminal and task controller. It will also do CVR rate and TUVR. So it will do variable rate mapping or section control for your implement. And it will actually do virtual section control. With virtual section control, whether it's connected to the implement or not, you can set it so it will illustrate to you when you're crossing the sections, it will turn the sections off on the display and it will allow you to do the manual turn on and turn off as you need to. It's a connected farm capable display, so we can actually connect this to the cloud and it will sync AB lines up and down, boundaries, vehicles, implements, etc., things like that. So it's a good display for connectivity. Also included in the box, we have a power cable. So this is a Trimble power cable. It is tough, it's strong, and it's durable, but it's also flexible enough to get it inside all of your cab, down to the battery, sometimes through the floor, and give you a solid connection to your machine's power. So we've got power, we've got negative, we've got a fused connection, and then we have a Deutsch connector for the other end. This is the second half of the power cable. So this will plug into the battery power using the Deutsch connector, and then it will plug into the back of the display. So the power cable comes in two halves with one output for can or additional things that we can put into this display. In the box, we also get a RAM mount. So this is a RAM mount uh, mounting unit, which comes with a 1.5 inch ball, comes with a V connector or mounting bracket, which has four bolt holes, can either be used with the 
few bolts provided or you can put single straight bolts through here and mount the display where you want to and it's also got a nice little rubber grommet so when you put this against your handrail or your paintwork put in the rubber grommet and that'll protect it from scratching the other end of the ram mount we've got another 1.5 inch bore and this one is a diamond shape so this will go onto the rear of the display in between the two we call this a dog bone affectionately known this has a screw fixing to it and simply goes over each 1.5 inch bore and it will connect the display tighten it up but it gives you the maneuverability and last but not least possibly one of the most important things in this box is the quick start guide so each Trimble display will come with a quick start guide and this just shows you some of the menus, some of the icons and it will help you get started, up and running, see what you can do as soon as you get it into your machine. So, should we see how this all goes together? It's really easy. We take the GFX 350 display and the key thing is to find out where on or in your machine you want this display to be. So find out your position, whether you're looking forwards, you're looking to the side, or possibly looking behind you at your implement. Decide where you want your display, and that will help you dictate where the cables are going. Once you know where your display is going, take your battery cable, obviously connect this into the terminals of your battery, route the cable loosely to begin with, where you want your display to be. Connect it into the power side for the display. And finally, connect this into the rear power unit. Simple as that. Once connected, we can then look at the RAM mount for your display. So take the diamond shaped end, place it over the rear, and then use some of the straight bolts inside this packet to mount the ball to the back of the display. We then look at where your display is going to be mounted. Get your mounting bracket and decide how or where it's going to be put onto the machine. Once decided, if you're mounting this around a rail, take out the V bolts in the back and the rubber grommet, rubber grommet in there, V folds for the back, and then decide where you're going to mount your display. Now that's sorted, take your RAM mount, put it onto your mounting bracket, connect it to the back of the display, undo if required. And this will allow you a really good angle or position based on what you want or your preference. So mount it where you want it and see how she looks. What we advise then, once mounted, once in your position, try to do your operation, make sure she's in view, but also within reach because of the touch screen. Once you've done that, then take your cables and hide them neatly, either throughout the cab or around any obstacles, down to the battery, any surplus cable, you can then roll it up, store it safe, and that'll make sure that your display is in the best position, it looks neat and tidy, and you're not going to be embarrassed about it when people come around to have a look. So, as I mentioned earlier, there's lots of things that you can put either on or with the GFX 350, one of which is the NAV 500 receiver. This receiver will give you EGNOS or viewpoint correction signal, and that'll put it into the display. Because we now have a modular setup with the Trimble displays, you can also put in the NAV 900. This will give you EGNOS, it will give you RTX correction signals, it will give you center point, it will also do RTK, radio RTK, and it will do VRS RTK. So this NAV 900, modular, can plug in and give your GFX 350 the correction signal it needs. We also have an alternative power cable. This power cable will allow you to power the display from a cigarette lighter in your vehicle, 
go straight into the power harness and it just makes your GFX 350 a little bit more mobile. I mentioned earlier the Wi-Fi capability of the GFX 350. For that, we have got a selection of modems available. These modems are mounted to the rear of the display, simply attached to the rear. And this gives you a fixed internet connection with a SIM card. And that will allow you to Wi-Fi hotspot to the modem. And that gives you internet access for connected farm or internet browsing, depending on who you go with. This will also power straight into the harness. So you've got a stable, solid modem. Just gives you a little bit more access in the field. Not only that, we also have SIM cards available for the modem. So we have a range of contracts, both 12 and 24 months. And these will give you enough data to push your field boundaries, your AB lines, and your whole auto sync to your connected farm within the cloud but also in any machine that's in your network. So we can do a full connectivity package on the GFX 350 display. And last but no means least, we also have a smart water forensic packing. So we use this at Vantage England and Wales to forensic mark any of the assets going out with um, our customers. And this is a unique fluid to the serial number we mark different items, including displays, receivers. We log them into the database at Smartwater, which is available to the police. And we also register the displays on the Trimble Global Network. It comes with nine stickers. Thieves recognize Smartwater. They know with a score. You put these on to deter the theft. But should the worst happen, if the display is recovered, it can be traced back to your unique identifier. And also, if anybody tries to use the display with a correction signal or a feature license, it will register on the Trimble network, it knows it's stolen, and we can locate it to the local Vantage dealer. One of the biggest benefits of being the dealer network is we work together throughout the world. And cutting down on theft is one of our biggest concerns at the moment. Awesome, thank you guys and girls. This is the Trimble GFX 350 display. You've seen what's in this magical little box. If you want any more information, get in touch with us at Vantage England and Wales. We and our team will be more than happy to help you. And please check out some more of the videos on the YouTube channel to see what else can help you and your business.